When I began to practice silent prayer or Christian meditation, I started a new journey in my relationship with God. I was predominantly communicating with God what was in my head. Of course, there is no hierarchy in ways of communicating with God and certainly many rich dimensions of prayer. After all, in relationship generally, we communicate in different ways. Silent prayer, though, is learning how to simply be in our relationship, not talking or making requests. It is being still and letting the Holy Spirit breathe into our hearts. Meditation is described as the prayer of the heart and unites us with Jesus in the Spirit. As it says in Romans, we do not know how to pray, but the Spirit prays within us. In looking inwardly into the deep places within ourselves, there is a mysterious action of the Spirit in our innermost being. There we can open an experience of being one with God, where a spiritual awakening can happen. Little by little, the graciousness of Christ begins to transform our attitudes by entering the mind of Christ. We become illuminated and change ways of being in ourselves and in treating others. Christ makes no demands on us in those moments, but being still is a challenge as we work with our human wrestle of wanting to do and wanting to achieve. In giving up the addiction of doing and switching to being, it takes practice as we learn to focus our very naturally distracted minds. Life encourages us to be active in our ego selves, and we may notice too that our ego selves can come to the forefront in church and our prayer life as we use more of our external ways of worship. And it's perfectly legitimate to celebrate in God in these ways. Though our human selves can forget that sitting with the Lord as we are without agenda allows space for him to work within us and then begin to see with the eye of the heart, as Paul describes in Ephesians, letting go in this way also enables us to let go through life's turmoils. People often say to me, I've tried silent meditation and I'm just no good at it. My mind wanders before I know it and I'm planning my shopping for the next week. I answer, me too, but distraction is to be expected. Though Christ invites me to return to him and return to my focus again and again. The beauty of being silent with God is there is no such thing as failure or no concept of achievement. I am accepted in how I come. We are in the world where there is a lot of pressure to get things right. Some of that pressure comes from within us. I can't switch the clock back now. This way of prayer has been a life changer for me. I'm not always good at it either, but then it is not about achievement, is it?